Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out new builds to the Devon Beta Channel Insiders with update KB5067103. And once again, both builds are mirror images of one another because 25H2 in the Dev Channel and 24H2 in the Beta Channel are now in the same servicing branch as you may well know by now. Now just a quick overview as to what's new and what's happening with these latest Devon Beta Channel builds. First of all, Microsoft says the following changes and improvements are rolling out for agent in settings on Copilot plus PCs. No surprises there. Microsoft focusing a lot on those AI powered and NPU powered devices, like it or not. Where Microsoft says it's introducing new experiences, as it likes to say, to make it easier to modify settings in both search and recommended settings. First of all, we get recommended settings here to the right, which now allows for faster changes, Microsoft says, by showing an inline agent action for recently modified settings. And then the next is for search, where Microsoft says it now shows more available results in the search fly out to discover what you're looking for to allow you to quickly modify those settings in cases where the settings can't be adjusted further a dialog lets you know why and provides an option to modify the settings as needed, as we can see in the image provided from the announcement. And another example would be, if we head to the next image, Microsoft says when searching for increased volume, as we can see within settings, a dialog is presented indicating that volume is already at the maximum setting and provides a slider to modify the value. So those are one or two changes rolling out for AI agent in settings for those Copilot Plus powered PCs. And then moving on to another change in improvement, Microsoft says DragTray now supports multi-file sharing, intelligently surfaces more equivalent apps and enables what Microsoft is calling seamless file movement to a chosen folder. And what we're looking at here is the DragTray UR showing options to share to apps like WhatsApp, Paint, Snipping Tool, Snapchat, and movement to other folders. And then Microsoft has also said, as another change, it's going to be rolling out the new OneDrive icon in Accounts and Homepage Settings. So if we just head into, yeah, we can see on the homepage in Settings, there is a OneDrive icon. We also get the same in Accounts. And that new icon is most probably this icon. As you can see, looking a little bit different because Microsoft is going to be running out new Office app icons. I've posted on that. I'll leave the video link down below in the end screen. And this is also the leaked version of the new OneDrive app for Windows 10 and Windows 11, which I've also posted on. And I'll also leave that video linked if you'd like some more information. So new OneDrive icon in accounts and homepage settings. And then for the next new improvement, Windows 11 is going to be getting more dark mode and more consistent dark mode, which I have been posting on. But Microsoft now, it says it's continuing to make improvements to the dark mode experience in Windows 11. This week, it says it's updating the run dialog which currently in the stable version is still white and not dark or light mode and not dark mode. And this is after Microsoft has started testing dark mode in the copy dialog as an example, the delete confirmation dialog. So this is definitely a nice move in the right direction. And just take note though, Microsoft says this change is on a very slow rollout. So not many insiders will see it right away. It plans to expand the rollout to more insiders over the next few flights. So just take note of that if you are in the Devon Beta channel. And guys, that's just a quick overview as to what's new and some changes and improvements. Over and above that, we get our fixes that roll out. And then of course, there are known issues because this is still in preview. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.